Alien spores fall to earth and quickly their purpose begins to reveal itself. The spores become pods that engulf their sleeping victims with tendrils before spawning a near perfect copy, though one without emotion, and whose purpose is to seek out the remaining survivors without remorse or mercy. Fighting their lack of sleep and growing paranoia, the survivors have but a slim chance of overcoming the invaders. Invaders of the Body Snatchers is an icon of horror cinema. Perfectly balancing pure horror and an unsettling atmosphere, it's nightmare fuel of the most insidious kind. What with the gooey special effects and most importantly, the disturbingly effective air of suspicion and paranoia that saturates every moment of the film, induced by the creepy pod people and the way they act in the eminently allegorical situation. As imposters wearing the character's friends' faces betray them, it's hard not to be both drawn in at the same time as you squirm in your seat, and given the time that this was made, much like the original, it's a film that plays on contemporary fears while managing to be fitting for whatever first time you experience it. Though the politics aren't overt, they are there, evoking fears of conformity and authoritarianism. They typify communism by having the bad guys being an entirely mindless, uniformitarian characters. They're cold, they're unfeeling, and entirely ruthless in their bid to take over the world, and it's a terrifying idea that these intellectuals are almost entirely invisible until the moment that they stab you in the back. Invasion of the Body Snatchers is a classic in every sense of the word, and your film viewing experience is woefully incomplete without seeing it.